Sexual assault is a big conversation right now with the national cases against politicians, priests, and even celebrities. The topic is everywhere. Like everything else adults discuss, kids are listening. Some children may be asking questions, while others might be confused in silence. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, we find out how you can teach your kids about this sensitive subject. Having little boys can be a little chaotic. Parker Stewart has three little men, ages 10, 8, and 6 years old. For him, respect for others is an important lesson. I think as a parent, you always hope that they will be chivalrous, um, that they will treat people with respect. In Stewart's family, there's a lot of faith-based learning. He uses nightly devotionals with the boys to teach them about right and wrong. No means no, and uh, to respect people's personal space and boundaries. And even if those don't match up, to ours or that ours are different, that that's okay too. Teresa Thee with Children's Home Society says conversation is a great first step. Asking the question, how are things going? What's going on? How are things at school? How are things at church? How are things on the soccer team? Whatever it is, but really being specific um, without coming out and saying, you know, we don't want to assume that something's happening. Children's Home Society has a game designed to get the conversation started. The What If game tackles all sorts of subjects, including a deck called Talking About Touches. Each card has a question for the child to think about. Obviously, there's no wrong answers, so the kiddos aren't always going to have the answer you would want them to have. Another opportunity to um, help them engage in another way of thinking or, or um, how they would handle a situation, taking it to that next level. This game addresses each topic in an age-appropriate way. That's another key element in teaching your kids about sexual assault. Figure out where your kids are and what they can handle. Instead of answering a question, ask them what they think it means, then go from there. But no matter what age your child is, there are some basics you can start with now. Kids should be taught that if it's covered by your bathing suit, that's really a private part, and um, no one should ever touch that without your permission. Um, including your doctor, your parent, anyone. Nancy Free works with victims of abuse at Child's Voice through Sanford Health. She says listening without reacting is important for parents to remember even if what they're hearing is really hard to take. Oftentimes parents and caregivers are in a state of disbelief. You know, how could this happen to my child? Just know that it does happen. It's never the child's fault. And if we can listen with empathy, and stay calm, then our child is going to have a much better outcome. Twinkling? Twinkling star. Parents like Stuart may not enjoy having these talks, but the payoff will last years. They're my love, my joy, and uh, uh, I wouldn't trade anything in the world to have the opportunity to uh, be their father. Treasure? Treasure ship. Now, Thee and Free suggest using anatomical names of body parts with young kids. That way, if something comes up, there won't be any questions about what the kid means. If you have any questions, feel free to contact local agencies, including Children's Home Society and Child's Voice. We've provided links under this story at kelloland.com. We'll